I mean, I've changed my brushes now. I'm using my short flat and I'm adding raw umber to the cobalt blue because I really want darker colours now. As I'm getting closer to the viewer, as I'm getting closer to you, I really want some darker colours. And the burnt sienna and the cobalt blue is not really giving me that dark that I want. So I'm adding some of the raw umber to the cobalt blue, which is giving me the, the dark. Also, as I pass the brush through the paint, it's making it smooth against that stippled background. It, it again contrast. We've got a stippled background and a smooth tree. It makes it stand out. It's like painting a seagull. If you paint a seagull in the sky, it's generally white, but we paint it dark grey. When that seagull passes across a headland, we paint it white, so it contrasts. It's the same seagull. It hasn't changed colour. We just change its colour. Now I'm strengthening some of the darks in the trees with the raw umber, so I've got this real dark shadow tree. Just touching up a few of the grasses and the, and the flowers by the side of the wood using the fan brush and a bit of opaque paint. Just tap a little bit of that in. I'm still using the combinations of the yellow ochres and the lemon yellows and the burnt siennas and the titanium white. Now, I always like to get a bit of palette knife work into a painting, so it's time for my palette knife, and I've got a mixture of raw umber and cobalt blue, and I'm putting it on almost neat. I really want to establish some dark areas here. I find this palette knife the perfect knife for me. The kink in the handle allows me to use it flat on the surface of the paint. I can get pure colour onto the picture without disturbing too much the wet paint underneath. It means I can get the blade flat on and at this point I'm painting on the paint. I don't really want to press on too hard and disturb too much of the paint that I've previously put on, although it's at this point it's still wet. Although I'm using a palette knife, I've still got to consider the stroke. So if these are rocks and boulders or exposed soil or ground, then I'm stroking the palette knife in the direction I want the 